Hey all you Game 7 Rednecks, welcome to another episode of Maxed Out Performance, brought to you by GSR Gaming. We're going to go ahead and get started here with a new wheel spin, and see what car we're going to play with today. Now for those of you who haven't seen any of these, what we do is we test the car originally without any performance specs. We don't tune it, we don't upgrade it, nothing. Just right off the bat we go play with it, in either a straight race or a dirt race, whatever we decide. And then we max it out and test it in every racing category we can. So that's street race, I'm sorry, road race, street scene, dirt rally, cross country, drag. And if the car has an option for a drift setup, we're going to play with it and drift. So as soon as I win a car here, we're going to find out what we're going to race with today. I'll tell you what, I'm getting some new wardrobe inventory here. And sometimes it's like that with wheel spins. But I got a few more, as you can see, so we're bound to win the car here. And if you off chance that we don't, I'll just swing over to the garage and grab something. Hey, here we go. Congratulations! We call that a Forza edition. Custom upgrades you can't get anywhere but here. So, modifications inside and I'm not going to play with the Forza edition, and here's why. Be to do with that thing on the road. Because the Forza edition is already maxed out really well and set up for, you know, the speed skill boost and everything. It's set up at its own custom tuning. If this was just the original Volkswagen van, I would go ahead and play with it. But because it's a Forza edition, we're going to go ahead and skip on that. So let's try another one. And if you guys don't like that idea that I have, and want me to go ahead and play with it, hey, by all means I will, but right now we're going to go ahead and go with this little Lotus here. So let's collect this guy, and see what we can do on the maxing out with it. So Forza Editions, I feel, I mean, there, there is a regular addition to the car, so if I ever win that regular one, I'll, you know, I'll play with it, but... For now, we're just going to go ahead and skip out on the Forza Edition vehicles. So. <clears throat> Alright, so let's play with this, uh, this Lotus along on here. Can't really look at much. Oh, I like the cute little headlights. It's pretty neat. Little two-seater. Alright. Alrighty, so... It's not a very high class rating. It's a D class, but for a you know, old little car like this, that's about typical. So let's head over to a street race here, or road race. I'm sorry. Let's see how we do. Also, guys, if you have any future ideas for a car that you just really want me to test, you know, drop me a comment. Let me know. If you just really want to see a certain one, we might do a special episode where uh, we don't do random pick. We do a, a fan pick. So let me know what you think about that. So if you just really have a car on here that you just really want to see maxed out, I will be more than happy to do that for you. The turning is really smooth on this little guy. Oh. As long as the driver tires aren't too aggressive here. I have a sporting chance, but... Oh, turning is really good on this car. Really good. Braking is really good too. Let's 
That's for myself, I almost like it just the way it is. It's a really smooth car to drive. You really don't feel like you're gonna lose control. Real smooth, oops, cornering. Not much engine speed, you know, so you don't feel like you're gonna lose it while having to throttle that accelerator there. Two more laps, I don't know. I might get close to winning. These guys are right there on performance level with me. And when you drive the slow cars, it's a little bit harder to win because there's not much that can go wrong to slip up the other drivers. So I'm still going to give it my best here. Yeah. We got this lap and one more. I got a pretty good chance. I might get up there. Try to keep this speed as high as I can. So I'm gonna take these corners a little wide here. I think I can win this. Get these corners just right. That's where I'm catching these guys is on the corners. There we go. I think on that last turn I can get around this guy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you're messing me up, man. <laughs> Alright. Let's try it. Did we cut this corner just right? Oh, nope. Not quite enough, but that's okay. <clears throat> I liked it. It did really good. And we got the fastest lap time. So we did good on that. I really like it. It's a nice little car. And the winner was driving the same car, you know, so. All right. Now for the fun part. <laughs> We're gonna take this guy back to our garage and see how we do maxing it out. Okay, here we go. Do some custom upgrades. All right. So I like to start with conversion. That way we don't have to re-equip the engine with everything all over again. Ooh, so we've got a couple engine options here. Um, so this one gives it better kick on the stat. But this one has more horsepower. Now I have a feeling, because those turbo rally engines, usually there's only a couple little options you can upgrade on the engine. So I'm going to try this real, this one first. And uh, I'm going to compare them with the others. So all-wheel drive kicks it up, so we're going to go with that. And yes, we need a turbo, because I know that'll help it out. Alright, let's see what we can do to this guy. Alright. Those definitely help, so we're popping those on there. Tires. So uh, we're going to race in uh, road race and street scene first, so we're definitely going to need some good road tires there. All right, let's widen these bad boys. And kick out the front, but not the back. That's rather interesting. Okay. All right, well, it helps, so we're going to do it.
All right, now for the engine. All right. This looks like we definitely went up a little bit. So let's check our basket. Okay. So we started out 126 horsepower and we're raising about 640. Went up on our lateral G's and definitely went up in class. So let's check this out and see how we do. Alright, so we're going to head back over to the same race. And now let's see how do we do with a faster car here. I just love those headlights on this thing. Alright. Ooh. So, it's like we're racing the same kind of car. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. A lot, lot more grip on the corners there. And a lot faster response while you're turning. A lot faster. I think we'll cut these corners rather sharp. This thing stays on the road really well. And of course, it's a lot faster than it was. <laughs> oh yeah, I like this. This is this is really nice. It's lightweight. It stays on the road. It does not slide around, and it just eats up these corners. It is loving it. Braking is fantastic. I know I'm sliding a little bit here and there on this lap. I'm trying to really get a feel for it. Alrighty. Been here over here early, but I had to pee. Oh. All right, we got Sir King Pookie with us right now. Yep. He came over to see how I was doing, so he's gonna watch what I, how I perform with this little car. See, someone's watching us, so and now I'm doing worse. I don't know. I don't think this thing takes corners very well. No, it takes corners great. Oh, it does? Yeah, it's really taking corners good. It's lightweight. There's nothing making it slide except for me. I'm just having fun with it. It really stays on the road well. Yeah, I'm downloading the. Well, when I'm at, when I'm at the house, I'm downloading the game, taking forever, of course, because yeah. it's 25 gigs. But it's a Dungeons and Dragons game. It's called um, Neverwinter. 
Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so we definitely got the fastest lap time. I don't know why we were only racing that same car. Um, but okay, we did good in that one. Oh, you already got it up to F plus. Yeah, I, I've already maxed it up. Cool. I do. So, I know you've never watched me do any of these. I test them in every racing category. Yeah. So I set it up for street first, and then we convert it to dirt, and then we do drag and then drift. Oh, cool. So we tested a little bit of everything. What all you got left to test on? That was just a street race, so I'm, I haven't done, I'm sorry, road race. So I haven't done street scene or any of the others yet. That was just the first one where it's been mixed up. Cool. We just got the clown dance. I know, right? We can dance appropriately now. Have you seen the um, the newest It movie they came out with? No, I have not. I watched it in the funniest freaking part of that movie because none of it's scary, which clowns don't bother me. But the funniest part about that movie is when Pennywise is sitting there doing that clown dance. Oh. Let's head over here to this you, one. You better come on down and get your money or I'm taking it. Yeah, I doubt it. All right. Let's head over to the street scene race. Ooh. Ooh, bro, this hot outside. Well, I don't know. That's why I'm in here recording. I was out there feeding for dad this morning. Because it's hurting too bad. Yeah. Jeez. I had to water a little bit, you know. It's mostly just the puppies. You keep them watered every single day, and none of them are low. The puppies are low, but that's just. They like to dig in the water bowl. Yeah. I think they like to swim in the I gotta mow and I dread doing that. <laughs> Don't push them up. <laughs> well, I know you gotta push them over the yard. Duh. Yeah. Inside the fence. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm right. getting a riding mower for everything else. But. Yeah, no, it's a lot to be out there trying to push them all that. Oh, way. no. I ain't doing that. Oh, look at there. You got a little dance going. I know, right? We're happy. All right, street scene race. So for those of you who haven't played on street scene, this is kind of an open category class race. So you're not in your same category as you are in the other races. You're racing everything that has the same class rating as you. So everyone that's S2 is racing. So we look kind of out of place here right now. Well, yeah, they get all them fancy cards. Here you are. I know, we're a little. Some little beater. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't be dogging this Lotus, man. <laughs> Come on now. Well, this thing gets me back and forth to work and across the finish line. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, these other guys are the ones that are embarrassed. They're in hyper cars and they're getting passed by this little 71 Lotus. Oh, God, yeah. Oh. I didn't, didn't see the turn. Lotus. Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I can't remember who owns them. I don't know. I'm trying to remember if it's Chrysler. Yeah. Well, Lotus is a European car. European car. Yeah. So. I'm not gonna guess at who they are. And get some hate from people who know who owns it. So trust me, I'm not either. But you know me, I'm not much of a car guy. Oh yeah, I know. Now that thing right there racing in front of me, I know who makes that. Hot Wheels. Hey, Batman. <laughs> Him too. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about him the next couple of weeks, putting up that um one of those Emmy Majors we have. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Have fun with that. I just want to see what I can do. No, it won't be very much right off the bat. It's all I've, all I've done is boxing. Yeah. Since I was little, so... Tracking, I'm pretty good. But... I figure, you know... You might as well give in an A a try. I want a little bit of that. Yeah. I want this truck in front of me here. We're putting in Ford. Oh my 
goodness. I mean, you found the e-brick. I know, right? That little tree right there. Stop you real quick. Stop you on a dime. <laughs> uh, so we got second, but I still liked it. We did really good in the street scene. If you're not first, you're one of the worst. Yeah, uh -huh. Do you want to give it a shot? <laughs> I know you won't get first. <laughs> you see me try racing games. Well, that's what we got you. I play the racing games, you play the shooting games, you know. I'm more of an RPG guy. <laughs> <laughs> this no. is RPG? It's open world racing, Jake. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, this is not an RPG. This is a race car game. <laughs> it's like when we were little and had that NASCAR game. Or the Dukes of Hazard game for the play for the original PlayStation. Right. I hate calling it the PlayStation <laughs> One because it did not get labeled that so years later. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you look at the old system, you're like, I don't see a one on here. No. Oh. We got PlayStation, PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three, PlayStation Four. See that right there just proves their doubt in the system when they made it because they never thought they would make another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Xbox, I mean, hey, they knew they were making I know. They, they left their name open. They, they knew something Xbox, was going to change. Xbox 360, Xbox One. I don't <laughs> know what this new Xbox is called. Xbox X Series, I think. X, okay. Something like that. I don't know. All I know is I don't have the money to get one, so. Yeah, I don't have the money to get a PlayStation 5, and we also don't get good internet out here. Yeah, I know. So that's a sad thing, because on those two new consoles, from what I heard, they're planning on making it just completely online. There's not yeah, going to be any offline gaming. If so, we'll be still playing the Xbox One for a while. Yeah, so. with some 360 games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's get this thing set up for a Dirt and Rally tune. So, I'm going to try that rally engine, since we're going to be going off-road here, and did I already... Okay. got to be four-wheel drive, or else you're not going to get yeah. anywhere. Well, I'll get somewhere, right into the side of a tree. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, because if you're off-road, and you're not going out there in a two-wheel drive. Yeah. Whether, whether it's rear-wheel or front-wheel, it's not going to... Front-wheel be better for you, but it's still not going to help much. Yeah. Just mostly because front wheel's got more, it's got the pull to it. Well, this one doesn't have an option for for front wheel, so. Yeah, which is a good thing. Oh, there you go. Yep, getting some rallies. Oh, they can get. Alright, and let's get this engine mixed out here. If only we could turn this thing into some little monster truck monstrosity. Man, I know, right? <laughs> Granted, we'll never be able to play this game by ourselves again because Joseph will have to be here to build every monster truck we could. I know. <laughs> Get that little car we affectionately call the Acorn. <laughs> Alright, so we lost a little bit of horsepower. Our class didn't change too much, but this should help us out on dirt racing. So, let's go find us a dirt race. I think if you're racing dirt, you're going to win every time because it's kind of messy. It, it depends on how fast the wind's blowing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's raining right now. I don't see it going anywhere. Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's head up to this little dirt track up here. I know we have discussed this before, but does the actual weather affect... It does. The, oh, it affects Yeah, it, it will affect your grip and the road conditions. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because I knew when... I knew whenever we first... Miss Brown with this game. We tried it on ice and yeah, it was a learning experience. Yeah, ice will ice will ruin your day, no matter what you are driving. You got to really be careful on ice. I had to learn that one because I was like, "Oh, this <laughs> is just a stupid car game." Oh no, no, it was Forza. Not. Forza is known for putting most of the realistic conditions with the cars and everything, road conditions and all that into their games. So. It's one of the most realistic car simulation games. Of course, this one with the chaos that you can do with the rally and going off road. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of things they skipped out on, you know. But you know, as far as road conditions and stuff, it's it's pretty accurate. I probably missed that show point. I did. 
Oh gosh, and I can't go back. Okay. Well, hang on here. Hang on. What is it? Is it not letting you? At, you can only use rewind so far past the starting line. Oh. <laughs> so, and I got talking to you and it messed me up. I didn't see where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's try this again, guys. <laughs> you want me to try to be a little bit better of a racer here and not try to skip out. See, and this is why I'm here. I always throw a wrench in the plan. I know, it's a big wrench. <laughs> you ain't kidding. <laughs> I mean, even a monkey couldn't pick this wrench up. Let's see. I try to be as much of an inconvenience as I possibly can. <laughs> I mean, I have always been this way. <laughs> Sadly enough, y'all don't get to see the first round of D&D &D we've ever played, so y'all have no idea. I know, right? You hit that one. Yeah, as long as your car at least touches the flag if you go outside of it, it's still considered a, still considered good. In bounds, whatever you want to call it. Hey, these guys do not want to let you back. No, but I'm racing on the hardest difficulty I can, so. <laughs> At least drive it car wise. Yeah. But they get a little aggressive sometimes. This thing's doing really good on dirt. You know what we need to test out? Even though I know it's not possible, like logically speaking, okay. I still really want to try out and put an umbrella on the back of one of our vehicles and jump something with it just to see if Mario Kart's on the top. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if they ever make a mod for this game of that, you know. Just... I'll talk about in real life. Oh, I'm not doing it. Well, we'll use your car. We'll use mine. Well, I'm not tearing my little truck up. That's that big thing. We'll use Hayden. I'm not. I'm still <laughs> paying on that car. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing a freaking umbrella stunt with it. Hey, we'll just call your brother. <laughs> just call your insurance company. Yeah, we had an accident. What happened? The umbrella failed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We'd like to sue the umbrella company. Hey. They did not say there was a weight limit on these things. <laughs> hey, if y'all literally have farmer's insurance, we can really stress test this theory that if you've done it, they've seen it, they'll cover it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we'll be the base of a new commercial, man. <laughs> <laughs> Because I really want to stress test that theory, man. Because, like, they say there's nothing you can do that, you know, that... They haven't already <laughs> seen. Exactly. <laughs> I want to test this. Because I already know there's someone been out there, you know, driving naked, eating hot dogs, got distracted, had a wreck. I want to see if someone's ever tried to Mario Kart in real life and had to call them, you know. We can start throwing some banana pills on the highway. Exactly. Turtle shells. Exactly. <laughs> Bust somebody's windshield. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a blue shell, glue some iron spikes to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. See what we, yeah, blow somebody's power out, flip them off the road. <laughs> hey, if this happens and it's on the news tomorrow, <laughs> we could possibly be in trouble because we're talking about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear, officer, I wasn't even in Wisconsin. I couldn't have done it. <laughs> What's just happened in Wisconsin now? <laughs> uh, yeah, like, how many states away? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> hey, if we drive like some of the cars I have on here, we could make it in time. Oh, we could, but... I mean, Hop in the Lotus, Jake. We're going to Wisconsin. Yeah. I was going to say, I think my little truck can only go like 130, and that's if I have it wide open. And you felt how light that little truck is on the road. I don't think I, know, I right? really want to try that. With me in there, it might only hit 100. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It pulled that stock trailer. For <laughs> a little four-cylinder Toyota pulling a 2,000-pound stock trailer, that's a stout truck. Yeah. But it is a standard transmission, not an automatic, so it had a little bit more muscle power behind it. Right. All right, so dirt went good. I really liked it. It didn't do anything crazy transferring from dirt to asphalt, oh, so man. I really liked that. Squat Pocket got some four-piece suits here, man. Yeah, his grandmama got them so close. See, right now, we're going to do one of his playthroughs while he wears one of these. <laughs> He's going to look freaking dapper man he really is 
I kind of like the bow tie, but you know me, I'm traditional. I like the actual tie. It just sucks that it's a slip on. But he's too young to know how to tie a tie right now. I'm almost 30 and I don't know how to tie a tie. I know, I think I... Was it me or was it... Who was it had to help you tie yours during your wedding? Uh, it was my buddy Ben. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, because I had to tie Logan's Oops. and Cooper's because I learned how to tie a tie years ago. That was the only time in my life I've ever had to wear one. I wear them frequently you know, when I go to church. And until I die, I'm not wearing another one. But when I do die, I won't have to worry about knowing how to tie it. So I really don't care. Yeah. You know, so. Well, I mean, during, <laughs> well, like during my wedding, you'll have to know how to tie a tie. Well, if you ever get married. I no. plan on it one day. And you better be cute. Exactly. <laughs> don't know who this fellow is, but he's going to be adorable. <laughs> I'm taking Jake. Stop it. <laughs> All right, let's get this rally race, or sorry, cross country race underway here and see how we do when uh, we're driving in air. I didn't install any air brakes, so it's going to get a little difficult sometimes. See, I think back on the conversation we were having, I think I learned how to tie, a, you know, tie back in high school because I wanted to learn how to do it. Yeah. Because, you know, for senior pictures, they want you to dress up, tie, suit, jacket, you know, you got to look good for senior pictures. Yeah. Even though during the other pictures, I could have wore cross top and boot shorts. I mean, they wouldn't have liked it, but... I don't think anyone would have liked it, Jake. I'd have loved it. It's been a lot cooler than... Uh-oh. Oh! oh! I think we may have failed. Oh, God! <laughs> Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Hey, Google, do a barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good God. Oh. oh! There you go. Oh, and he helped you turn straight again. I know, right? <laughs> this is why I love rally racing. You never know what's going to happen. Everyone's a gentleman. If they see you going sideways, they'll try to catch you, <laughs> the they'll try to catch you while they're getting air time and like, let's see if we can help this guy turn back straight. Exactly. Know? All gentlemen. Because we are driving the gentleman cars here. I just love how smoothly this thing gets sideways on dirt. I tell you, I figured out my little truck can drift pretty good. <laughs> Intentionally or not? It was a little bit of both. Because <laughs> you know those hills you take passing by Frank? Not hills, those curves you take passing by Frank? Uh-huh. I was like, well, I want to ride the clutch. You know? So I was riding the clutch, and when I did, I turned a little too hard. Oh. And while riding the cr clutch, you know, I did. It wasn't very fast. I was only going like thirty. So yeah. Like, I wasn't going real fast, but when I did, I turned a little too hard on one of those turns and just, <laughs> just ripped it down through there. <laughs> well, there's no weight in the back of that little thing, so. No. And I, you know. I wasn't expecting it to do that while I was, you know, riding the clutch while it wasn't, you know, literally just holding the clutch down, letting it, you know, yeah. coast down through there. I wasn't expecting to drift in it like that. <laughs> it was pretty fun, though. It'd been terrifying if there was somebody coming. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm just glad that when I go to work and when I come home, because, you know, nobody's going to work at, you know, 8 in the morning. No one's leaving the house at 8 in the morning to be at work by 9.30 or they're leaving at 7 o'clock. Exactly. Most time people are already at work, and for the most part, they're already at home. So I didn't really have to worry about hitting nobody at that moment in time. There you go. Oh, oh. Oh, man. Now, do I plan on trying that ever again? No, I don't. <laughs> Mostly because I can see me doing something stupid in my truck and I flip it. Exactly. I'm uh, having some trouble keeping this thing on the road here. It's really shaky. Bit. But I'm still winning, so I guess I'm not doing too bad. There we go. So it did good in dirt and rally. Now we just got to turn to cross truck. country. I always call it rally if it's cross country. Now what's left, drag? Drag, and I think this thing had a set up for drift suspension. Let's get this so bad boy in a dress. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. 
I think the tires would be perfect for drag. No, there are uh, special drag tires. Oh, you need special drag tires. Okay. And I need to change the suspension, so. But well, figure that you want it to be lower down. Yeah. What's sad is I know a little bit about cars, but not much. <laughs> Enough to make it look like I might know something, so it does get me in a lot of places where people are like, Hey, come look at my vehicle. Tell me what's wrong. And I walk over to it, and it's like, well, it's not running for our starts. <laughs> 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 so it's like, I don't really know nothing about a vehicle. I mean, I can work on one, but it, you know, it's not like I'm... You know, a car guy, because I'm really not. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's switch back to this other engine here, since it's got a lot more horsepower on it. All right. And uh, retune that. Let me get uh, right shocks here. There we go. And get our engine re-equipped. But it's like the same with you when it comes down to guns. I mean... Yeah. You're not much of a gun guy, but by God, I am. I mean, I can recognize a gun when I see one. <laughs> yeah. But I can't tell you much about it. But I am a gun guy. I'm, you know, I buy a bunch of them. All right. Which Caleb knows this because he knows what I'm planning on buying when I get the money for it. Yeah, I know, right? Yes. Sweet lever action Browning Winchester 270. <laughs> so it doesn't look like we can break S2 with those drag tires, but that's okay. Saving content. Yes. Please do not turn off your device. You know, it, it makes me wonder how many people were dumb enough to go, oh, well, it's saving. Let's turn it off. <laughs> Turn it back on. File corrupted. Please start a new game. Yeah. Like, you know, I could understand when they first started coming out with these consoles, like back in the Xbox day, you know, original PlayStation. Yeah. Because most of the time when you played it was PC. Yeah. You know, starting off, I believe that was what, like in the early 90s? For what? Like... PC gaming and stuff. Oh no, know. it it's, it's been around since like the early eighties. Early eighties, okay. yeah. Console, I know, came around. I mean, if you're years. talking about Pong, I think it it came out really early, man. Oh no, no, I know when Pong but, came out. I'm talking about like kind of like you know the old school games that oh, are right now, like the flight simulator things like that. Gotcha. I think those were back in the nineties. I'm not too sure on on PC. And then your console, I believe, was like really late 90s, early 2000s when they started releasing that. The PlayStation came out in the early 90s. Yeah. Um, and I know that because I got one one Christmas. And I think I was four or five when yeah, I got so it. it was like, I'm almost 30 now, so. Yeah, well, you're not the only one. I'm freaking 26. I know. I'll be 29 in October. <laughs> and I'll be 27 in December. Yeah. What in the world was... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to race. There we go. There you go. Get I must have up. got a skill point right when I hit X. <laughs> you had to back up. Break it down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that one car we decided just to screw around with and make a drag car, and then we realized how insane that was? I couldn't. I couldn't because tell you. I think it was, wasn't it a... It was either a Camaro or it was a... Lamborghini. So we're like, let's make this a drag car. And then when we did, we were like, we we're like, oh god! <laughs> you know, yeah. like, right out of the gate, we left everyone in the dust. I can't remember what it was. All right, let's and do this drag racing. That was only because of the fact that I think we realized mistakes were made when we tried to actually, you know, yeah, take her wide open and see what she would. Oh, do. I think we got a fair chance. Oh uh, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, this think, thing does great on drag. I was gonna say unless one of them just you know somehow, I know right, happened to just shoot up in front of you, <laughs> racing JoJo's Demon Lambo. You just hear a distant oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guy in there just screaming, barely holding on to the wheel, yeah. skin peeling off his knuckles. 
mistakes were made this day. <laughs> but by God, he looked awesome dying. You're pretty well respected on the drag Are you trying any of the jumps with any of these? Or? All you have to do is in the rally. Of... No, no, you're not doing any of the stunt jumps? Crew, yeah. No. Maybe I should. Here, I know those are some of my favorite things, especially when we set up a little drag car like that. And we can keep it straight. <laughs> Take it up on that jump, man. Like... Because the little drag cars get some real freaking good distance if you can keep them straight and, you know, everything. Yeah. Like, I want to see how well this thing will do on the windmill jump. Well, I do finish them off by running them on the highway. See how fast I can get them up to. So I'll do some tuning on it and uh, finish it up on the highway. But Yeah. Okay, well, let's head over here. I know there were some drift shots available for I've this I've been one. seeing some of the thumbnails for these videos, and they're, they're good. They really are, but I would love for if we had, like, an editor, we could have some little redneck-looking guy sitting out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. On the original PlayStation, have you? did you ever play the Dukes of Hazard game? I'm thinking I did. Because, you know, when you could sit there, and I can't remember if it was Luke or Bo, the one that you could get to sit out the window with that little freaking bow and arrow trying to shoot the tires of the police cars out. That I don't remember. You don't remember being able to? Yeah. No, I don't remember that. That was like the funniest thing me and me and Bubba always tried to do when we were playing that game. Yeah. You know, you're a little kid and you're like, well, this is going to be fun. And we're sitting there trying to shoot out tires <laughs> with a bow, making these insane jumps. And then we found out if you hit something hard enough, they actually had it in the game where you could send them flying out the front windshield. <laughs> so, like, you'd be sitting there, you'd be laid out, the Duke boys would be laid out across the police, you know, the police car hood, and then the police officers laying out across your hood, like, y'all passed each other, you know. <laughs> you got chocolate in my peanut butter. <laughs> you got peanut butter in my chocolate. Hello, Officer Reese is here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Uh, yeah. Alright. We're gonna do some drift testing here. Okay. Let me get a quick hang of hold of it here. I might have to get a quick hang of it. He turned, I think I help him. I might have to tune it a little bit the way I like it. Maybe not. It's doing it's doing real well as long as I can hold that throttle there. Well, for drifting, want, I'm really liking it. It's a. I just want a horse, you know, those um, horse races, those derbies they have. Yeah. I want one of those announcer voices on here just announcing what y'all are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Come around the corner, comes not your mom. <laughs> <laughs> With the gamer tags and everything. Dude, I've almost had to censor some stuff from the gamer tags I've seen on here. I know, dude. They're bad. It's kind of like how in Pokemon Go, I keep naming every Snorlax I get Fat Venus. Oh, God. <laughs> Just because it's hysterical. Okay. <laughs> anyway, back to what I'm doing here. In the editing process, you're going to try to take that out. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to drop it back on on race suspension here, and I'm going to do some tuning, and then uh, hop it out onto the highway and see how we do on the highway. All right, guys, we're at the highway, and let's see how fast we can get this bad boy up to. I love driving in these tunnels, just hearing that engine. Oh yeah. All right, we're at 190. 200. Come on. 210, 212, 215, 218. Come on, oh. Hold on. I wanna keep the momentum going here. 220. Are we maxed out? Nope, 221. Oh, I think 221 is as good as we're going to get. It. 
Man, this thing is just staying on the road, even going 200 miles an hour. It's doing really well. I mean, if you're going 200 miles an hour, wouldn't you be ripping on the end thing to find? Well, I would. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 221. That's it, it was pretty good. Alright guys, let me know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know again if you have any recommendations for future vehicles you just really want to see me test on here. I'll be more than happy to oblige. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And meet us up on our Facebook page so you can keep track of upcoming videos and just the goofy antics that we do all the time. You guys have been awesome. God bless.